Happy Sabbath. Today is Health Spotlight Sabbath, which means you all get to see me today. So I am a physical therapist. We're going to be talking about movement. So if you have stuff on your lap, take it off because we are going to move a little bit today. Our bodies are fearfully and wonderfully made. They're very adaptable and small changes we make starting today in this church service can make a huge impact on our health and our longevity. So no matter how old you are, if you're over, I don't even know if you have any over 90s in here today, but if you're over 10, if you're over 50, if you're over 70, small changes can make a huge impact. So we're going to be doing an activity, but I need three volunteers. I would prefer three in three different age categories, but I'll take who I can get. So good, we have a young, perfect. Rhea, I knew, I knew I'd have one for the young, no problem. Can I have someone that's over the age of 18 but under the age of 60? Anybody in that age range? Yes. Okay, and how about somebody over 60 that can handle the stairs? Jerry, all right, perfect. We've got it, wonderful. Okay, so while they're coming up, we're going to be doing three different activities and one that you can kind of just think about, so there's a fourth one. And I want you to move with me. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how mobile you think you are. These are very um, standard screening tools, so they're not designed to be very hard. And then we'll talk about what's normal, okay? And they're going to be your models, all right? Because <laughs> I've got a sleeping baby on me today. So, all right, so this one, you're going to, all of you are going to follow along. They're going to demo. I'm going to have you cross your arms over your chest. Excellent. See a lot of crossed arms. Your job, before you do it, your job is to stand up fully straight and sit down, wait, wait, just hold on just a second, and sit down all the way so that your bum is touching the seat fully, not just tapped, and then you will repeat that. And our, jo our goal is to do that five times. That's it, five times. But we're going to try to do it five times within 15 seconds, okay? So I'll be kind of counting silently with my fingers here. We'll get through two hands plus one. If you have a hard time making it without using your hands in that 15-second period to get through five, then that just says, hmm, maybe we're at risk of falling, or maybe we need some work on our, the strength of our legs, okay? So if you don't make it to five, that's okay. I don't want you to hurt yourself. But the goal is just five in 15 seconds, okay? You got the rules down, everybody? Sit fully, stand up fully, and you can do five. When I say go, all right, ready, set, go. All right, and stop. Okay, how many people had over five reps of sitting and standing within that time? Oh, you guys did plenty. You did way more than five, right? You divided at least 15 or more, right? So if you were unable to get five or you maybe you didn't do it knowing you wouldn't be able to do five, that also counts. <laughs> um, that just means, hey, maybe you should seek out some help, okay? All right, that's number one. Number two, I'm going to have all of you stand. And you're going to turn, as long as you feel okay to share with the stairs there, so that they can see your backs. Okay, so you're going to turn all the way so they can see your backs. Okay, you guys don't need to turn. Your job is to reach one arm over and one arm under to meet your hands together in the back. Okay, try it with one arm going one way. You should be able to touch. And then if that, you can always switch and then try it with the other arm up and the other arm down. You can stand, sit, whatever way is comfy. And for those who couldn't, do the other test. This is a great one to do because you don't have to stand up, okay? All right? This is checking your shoulder mobility, okay? Shoulder mobility starts to decline as we age. All right, you guys can turn back and sit back down. We need shoulder mobility to help us reduce risks of rotator cuff tears or shoulder injuries, etc. We need mobility to reach up. When we reach up and have good balance, we have good range in our arms, we don't feel like we're going to fall backwards, right? So there's lots of different ways that Shoulder mobility can be helpful, okay? Every, who was able to do to touch on both sides? Not as many, right? It could be tricky, and one side typically is harder than the other, okay? So something to think about, something to work on and reach out help. help. This last test is a balance test. You guys all feel comfortable with balance. If not, please stand behind your chair instead of in front of your chair, okay? For you guys all, balance testing means standing, so if you are comfortable, please stand. Your goal is not to touch the pew in front of you, okay? It's there if you need it. I don't want anybody falling down, but your goal is not to touch. We're going to be standing on one leg. The goal is 10 seconds. And again, I will count with my hands, okay? Well, the, the invisible seconds will be going. 
If you are unable to balance on each side, we're going to do both for 10 seconds. We got a little, we got the kids over here, right? It starts to decline as we age too. Yeah, the goal is not to touch your legs together. That's actually cheating, okay? You want your foot off the ground. You don't need to hold it forward. That's harder. Just kind of up off the ground, but try not to touch your legs together, okay? And when we're ready, go ahead and lift. Okay, you can pause. Was that challenging on that leg for anyone? Challenging? The carpet, it's a little squishy. It would add a little bit of challenge, okay? Now switch sides. We're going to do it again. Ready and go. All right. Who was able to balance 10 seconds on both sides? Okay. For those of you who weren't or didn't participate because you knew it would be challenging for you, same thing. You probably, you guys can sit if you want to, you probably are at risk of, of an increased risk of falling. That doesn't mean you will fall. It just means that it's a sign that says, hmm, maybe we should work on this now before it becomes something that can progress to something worse as we age. Okay? And the last one is when you guys can demo. It might be hard in a pew just because of the, the distance, but can you, this is a back flexibility test, can you touch your toes? Can you reach your, can you bend and touch it? Not bringing your toes up to you, but can you bend and touch your toes when sitting? And can you do it when you're standing? Can you touch your toes? Think getting on your shoes. It's kind of hard with the pew. I know that one might hit your head. So just be cautious with that. That just screens you. One, it is a little bit of balance work too, but it does screen you for the mobility of your back. So if that's a challenge for you, if reaching your feet is a challenge for you, that's another thing where you may find some benefit reaching out for some help. All right, thank you, volunteers. That was so great. As they're going back, um, look for ways. Yes, congratulations for participating. Good work. Look for ways to challenge your bodies in big and small ways. It doesn't have to be a huge change. So here's an example. Let's say you had a hard time doing the sitting and standing activity. Try before you settle down to sit in your favorite chair in your living room and you're going to put on 3ABN or whatever program you're watching. Try sitting and standing up, even using your hands to help you, five times. And then sit down and rest and watch your show. That's an idea. Instead of um, just getting your shoe on and that's it, try to bend over and touch your toes a few times. Just do a few motions. When you're standing at the counter prepping dinner, try standing on one foot. Even with holding on, it can help build strength in that leg and switch sides. So simple changes that you can make can make a huge difference for your health. And I'm going to read a verse from you, which I'm sure will be familiar to you all. It's from Psalms 139, verse 13 through 16, and it says this. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. You're cared for, you're loved, and we can make changes together. 